Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Autumn in Australia is officially over, and as we move into winter, I kind of want to look at some of the pieces that I definitely had on repeat. Not specifically looks, because granted, autumn has been really, really busy for me, and I haven't had a lot of like personal days but even between work and personal i find that there are certain pieces in my wardrobe that i am definitely gravitating towards when it comes to handbags other than my louis vuitton um never full and this long champ bag that i have it is the multi pochette accessoire now i find on like personal days or even days when i'm just running errands that this bag is sufficient for everything that I carry. I do definitely carry less and less. I think mobile phones, technologies, storing everything on your phone has definitely made it easier. I'm not carrying a million cards or a million pieces of paper. Um, so this has been a really, really good piece over the season and it is definitely versatile in the number of ways that you can wear this. Next up is clothing. Now, there are some pieces that were definitely expected, others were a surprise. I'm gonna start with outerwear. Now, when it came to outerwear, realistically, there were two coats that I kind of gravitated towards, and as you will see, my choice of which one to wear on which day was based on color. The first coat is this gorgeous Marks black velvety kind of coat. Um, I will insert a photo. I think this is part of like one of their like staple products because I see it all the time in an absolute range of colors. But I absolutely love this piece. It is an asymmetrical close on the front. So I think it adds a little bit something. The only downside to this, I will say, is because of the fabric, you were kind of like a dust magnet, like everything sticks to you. That being said, I do love that the inside is lined, so it's not like irritating or itchy on the skin, which I know a lot of like woolly kind of material sometimes can be. The other coat in question is this gorgeous trench from Coach. Now, this is something that my mother got me, I think, two years ago or something, and I absolutely love it. It's this very, like, it's a hard color to describe because it's not exactly pink, but it's not beige. It's kind of got a light pink tinge to it. But one of the things that I do love are the little accents of color that you get, whether it's like the brown or the buttons. It's a little bit of contrast, even on the like belt loop thing here, which I will find the end of. It's a darker color, so it's like a really nice contrast. And the buttons as well, which kind of go all the way down the front. And I will say something that I do love is that both of these come with removable belt straps. Um, I think it adds a little something and sometimes it's just convenient to be able to take them off. So I definitely been gravitating towards these two. I will add as a side note though that I actually recently added yet another coat into my collection and I think she's definitely going to be more winter. Moving on to other clothing items. I've got one bottom or it's actually a skirt that I definitely have been wearing a lot. I think you guys have seen this a few times. I've mentioned it a few times as well. And this is a really, really gorgeous Christopher Esper skirt that I have. It's in this green color. It's got navy kind of woven through it. It's plaid. It's definitely on the thicker side. It's nice and warm. And it does have a slit on the left side. It is waist adjustable with the straps. I will say genuinely the only downside is because the fabric is thicker, it is a bit of a heavier wear and I did have it altered on the bottom. So I think a lot of the weight tends to sit in the bottom of the skirt, but I absolutely love this. I did buy this at the time with the matching top, but I don't really wear it as a set one way too much green going on. I look like a tree, but I feel like it just looks better on its own with like a white bodysuit or just like a neutral colored top of some sort. This next item did surprise me a little bit because I purchased this back in 2022 and it is this Marine Suri top. When I first bought it, I wore it so much. I'm pretty sure 
that Bob's got sick of this top and then I kind of tossed it into the back of my closet and forgot about it and I've kind of realized this season more so that anytime I'm like looking for an outfit looking for a top like this always just seems to be there I do love it. The pattern is amazing. I do also like that this is one of those tops that you don't have to like dry clean only because dry cleaning is pricey. But the only downside for me is this is definitely a braless type of top. The fabric is so thin that if I was to wear a bra, you would see the wires and the straps and everything else. So she's very much a pasties outfit. If you are someone who owns one of their jersey kind of tops and manages to wear a bra underneath that's still kind of discreet, please let me know what you're wearing and all the details. This last piece is sometimes outerwear and sometimes a top on its own, but it is this really cute little Balmain jumper. Now, I'm pretty sure this was from like two two and a half years ago maybe a year ago year and a half um she is out of the kids section because i am vertically challenged so i think on some of the like cooler days in autumn it's actually been nice to just wear this as a top on its own and not as an outer piece i love the gold accents and i will say in terms of like the color fading it really hasn't happened yet um which is a bonus but yeah Second last category is shoes. So I've got three pairs of shoes that I've kind of lived in all autumn with the exception of my Puma sneakers, which I have honestly run into the ground. I should probably definitely look into replacing them. First up is a pair of shoes that is great for a night out and for work. I feel like these are a very good like day to night transition shoe and they're decently comfortable. I say decently because I tend to find the back slips off a little bit if I walk a bit too fast or if you try and walk like toe heel. This is definitely like a heel toe kind of thing. Not that I know anyone who's walking flat but I also did ballet so that's a whole nother that's a whole story for another day but these shoes have been really great and they're not like I don't know I feel like black shoes sometimes your eyes are just drawn to shoes especially when you're in like a lighter outfit combo so with heels like this I've managed to do like jeans and skirts and dresses and like the whole shebang and they've never looked off I know I just made a comment about black shoes but this next pair are my Jimmy Choo Mayan boots. Now these boots I love, they're on a block heel so they've got a bit more stability in them and I can genuinely, and I have um, a few times this season, I've worn these for like 12 hours straight, they're fine. They do have a square toe box here which I think definitely helps because my feet don't feel like they're cramped and suffocated and I do love the jewels I think these are, I don't even know if they're like crystals or whatever, but they are diamantes and I love them. Um, these are just a little bit hard to style with jeans because I feel like they cut off at like an awkward height. So with these, I've definitely, whoops, with these, I've definitely done more like skirts and dresses. If you are a TikTok girly, you will know these. These are the UGG platform slippers. These were part of a recent haul that I did. I think it was like Black Friday sales maybe. I don't know. It was some sort of a sale. And I bit the bullet and I bought these shoes and I absolutely love them. I wear them to death. Um, but I don't really know realistically how practical these are for winter. Because these don't strike me as the things that should be getting wet. So maybe these will be like a winter around the house kind of shoe. I will say though I have ditched the back strap completely and I wear them like house slippers essentially but outside. Final category is accessories and granted I only own two belts so it was a 50-50 split but it is definitely the Hermes Kelly 28. Now the other belt that I own is the Louis Vuitton monogram and I feel like it's so loud but it's also so thick. The I can't remember how wide it is but I think it's 35 millimeters which this is a 28 so I definitely think this is a bit more of a 
accessory and not so much a pants holding kind of situation um because i find myself wearing this a lot when i have like a dress or a play suit or a jumpsuit that's like solid color and i kind of want to break it up a little bit and this is my go-to the color which is i think listed as gold on the hermes website is very soft it's not like as harsh as a black and that being said a lot of my clothes are black and that's what i'm trying to break up um and i feel like the white is kind of just like whoa like it's it's right there in your face so i think this is a good middle ground and i'm definitely very very happy that i bought this one no regrets at all do i own a lot of sunglasses do i need any more probably not this is a pair of Gucci sunglasses that I actually picked up from a warehouse sale late last year. It was one of three pairs and I feel like these are a really cute accessory. Now, my normal sunglasses are another pair of Gucci sunglasses, but they're like very big, very chunky. I've always like kind of joked that they give like paparazzi no comment vibes. Um, but I think this is like really cute. It looks very soft on the face and you can still see through like to my eyes. I feel like that's something that is a bit like, I don't know, like when I'm talking to someone, I can keep these sunglasses on because they can actually still see all of the emotions and reactions. Whereas like with the other pair of sunglasses, I can't see through it. The only downside to this is, um, I don't even know what these are called, but these are the two pads that sit on like your nose bridge here. And it's not so much on my face that it's a problem because I don't really wear makeup, so it doesn't stain. But it's like when I put it in, when I put it on my head like this, if my hair is like tied up and I like pull it out, it will pull out strands of hair with it. Like if I've got a claw clip in or if I've got a pony, um, these sunglasses will definitely not go on the top of my head so that is it for this video i'll probably see you guys again at the end of next season with my winter items on repeat but if you have any questions comments or queries feel free to leave them down below if not i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are bye